we have 12 volt here even if I have short circuit the power supply will continue working Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu welcome to Haseeb Electronics we will see uh, some special issues which is Intec Intec 250 watt in this study we will we will free it from all the senses and we will make a independent power supply how we can make it this uh, circuit is using IC SDC 2921 this 16 pin PWM controller the pin number 1 that is 3.3 volt sense line we have to bypass this safety then we have 5 volt 12 volt now we will check one by one and what is on the pins pin number one we are taking 3.2 volt the actual supply the orange supply 3.23 volt and the same voltage at pin number one after our resistor so we are taking 3.23 volt then we are taking 5.1 volt so here we are getting 5.1 volt at sense line for 12 volt number 3 pin we are taking 4 volt so we can say if we bypass these safeties 1 2 3 then we are able to change this setting we are changing we can take another output rather than this I am getting output 5 volt output is 5.18 volt plus 12 volt and here is red 5 volt so 5 3.3 and 12 volt I will remove standby signal I removed it no need the green wire no need PG signal no need so we will uh, remove all the safeties and we will see what is the best solution with us how we can turn this power supply into a standalone we can use this power supply for many purposes so as a se hum kya kya karenge ki hum maximum safeties jo hai unko hum remove karenge aur is power supply ko apne hisab se hum design karenge in the first step what we will do the power on command ps on command signal you have to make a jumper with ground so this power supply will go to directly into power on state so we will make a jumper our first cheating is here so now no need to install any jumper any power on command just only the PS on the PS on command now it is directly grounded so this IC will go to directly in power on command the second action now we will go to pin number one and two so here is pin number one pin number one is here so we will check in the rear side of this IC here is pin number one number one pin of this IC is connected to this resistor and this resistor is connected to this line and it is here here is making sense from 3.3 volt so we will remove this line we will cut this line now we need these voltage 3.3 5 volt 
four volts so we need we have five volt SB standby we have five volts this five volt the first supply is available here and we will connect this line to ground okay now we need here 3.3 volt here we need 4 volt so we need three resistors to make 3.3 and 4 volts to simulate these three pins if we connect a make a voltage divider network here is 3.3 volt we need I connect 3.3 K resistor after that from here to this level we have difference about 0.7 volts so I will connect 680 ohm or 700 ohm and then I will connect here 1 K ohm so this 1 K will consume 1 volt this 0.7 volt and 3.3 so I made here three components three resistor the first value is 3.3 K 3.23 K the second resistor that is 0 0.74 0 0.7 K the third one is 1 K I have 5 volt external this 5 volt I have external suppose this is our standby power and if I connect this 5 volt here and plus 5 to this point and if I check voltage in the first point so I will take 3.3 volt the second step 4 volt and the top of this resistor 5 volt so we will take we will connect this pin to ground SB power and this one 3.3 and this one we will free the pin number 1 we will remove the resistor from pin number 1 to pin number 2 is here then we have pin number 3 we will bypass one by one so I removed all these now we have 5 volt here at this point 5 volt and ground here is 5 volt standby power and here is ground and we will connect these three resistors in this area so the 1k resistor here is 1k resistor I will connect to 1k resistor to this 5 volt SB we will connect between the 5 volt connection that is standby power the purple wire the point of purple wire we will connect it at that place one K resistor this one K this one K will come here so in this case the power supply will turn on without sensing the output so we will make insulation it will not touch to body yes it's okay now I will make another layer now we will connect it here to ground I have to take three wires from here until here so the 5 volt that is at pin number 2 so we will take this direct 5 volt and we will connect it to pin number 2 of this IC so here is pin number 1 this is pin number 2 and we will connect it to pin number 2 of this IC 
one, two. Pin number two. Now we need four volts. We have to connect four volt. Four volt is second volt, second point. So this we will connect to pin number three. So here is pin number three. Pin number three is here. Four volt signal is here. So we connected four four volts. Then we have to connect 3.3 volts. Voltage between the first resistor, 3.3k resistor and ground. So here is pin number one and pin number one is 3.3 volt. And now I will connect the other end to the resistor, first resistor, that is 3.3k. What I did, I connected 5 volt SB, standby voltage here and this I connected to pin number 2. Pin number 2 is here 5 volt. This 4 volt I connected to pin number 3 and this pin number 1. Now I will turn on this power supply in this condition and we will check the result. it should first of all it should directly power on yeah when we have done this so I connected ground so now the power supply is directly on no need to connect any jumper no need to connect anything now we have output I connected this resistor network okay so now we will disconnect this complete portion from the sense line now I am disconnecting so our 3 volt section is disconnected and we have power output now this is going ground line here we don't need to disconnect it then we have this section we have to remove this section as well so friends we successfully modified this power we freed pin number one there was a resistor we removed that pin number two we removed that pin number three we removed that we removed we disconnected the components from here one two three then I connected 1k resistor, 680k, 680 ohm, 700 ohm resistor, 3.3k. This point to ground, this connected to 5 volt SB, standby voltage. I connected the first joint to pin number 1, 3.3 volt. This is voltage divider network applied 5 volt SB and ground 3.3, 4 and 5 volt to pin number 2 so this connection and we connected this 5 volt to the summing point the 5 volt coming to this summing point and now we are taking 12 volt output in this session we turned on different power supplies without sense line now if any short circuit here it will not affect on the power supply The power supply will not shut down. In this modification, we removed all the safeties for the sensing voltage. We connected three resistors, ground to SB 5 volt standby to ground, and we connected them to pin number 1, 3, and 2. This voltage divider network and now it is working here 5 volt SB to this summing point now if we, even we have short circuit this power supply will keep working we have 12 volt here even if I have short circuit the power supply will continue working just 
you have to connect cooling fan of this power supply it should be working because now it is continuously switching now if any short circuit in anywhere this supply this SMPS will keep switching so if this video is good for you like subscribe and share in next session I will make a modification in this area and we will take added voltage